Uh, good evening. Uh, I'm Pastor Jerry A. Lanier, Senior Pastor of Soul Deliverance Temple, Birmingham. It's good to be back teaching and preaching God's Word. Amen. And let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for the day. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you're going to do. Thank you, Lord, for, for, for you just being God all by yourself. If you take, if you take up, up a Jerry out of it, Lord, and, and you come on in, we'll have a Holy Ghost good time. In these words, amen. Amen. To, to, to my, my, my assistant pastor, Pastor Spencer Dansby, until First Lady, First Lady Matilda Lanier, and, and to our church family. It's good to know who Jesus is. Amen. Well, and 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 on today, we're coming out of Psalms. Amen. Psalms thirty-one, the Book of Psalms thirty-one, and started with the uh, it started with the nineteenth verse, and and it reads, "Oh, how great is your goodness." I want to read that again. Cause when I, I was studying it, I got happy. I got happy when I was studying it. It says, Oh, how good is your goodness? Oh, how good. How, oh, how great is your goodness. Amen. It, 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 it about a head, a few minutes. And it'll say, what a wonderful God he is. What a wonderful God he is. Amen. What a wonderful God he is. Amen. Amen. And, okay. And let's start. Oh, how how great is your goodness. That says a lot. That right there says a whole lot. Because God, His goodness is great. His goodness is wonderful. God's goodness is almighty. God's goodness keeps us day by day. God's goodness protects us as we sleep at nighttime. When the blood of Jesus is kept around our doorposts, God's goodness, he's the head protector. As we look and it says, oh, how great is your goodness. His goodness is, is so great and good and goodness because when God made us, his goodness created us. When God touched us with a finger of love, his, his goodness, his goodness also healed us. God's goodness is the good news to his people. God, God goodness is something you all go tell somebody. How good God has been to you. How, how excellent have God been to you. How God just touched us with a finger of love. How God created us and his own image. His goodness it's the powerful thing that is, including God's love, that agape love. His goodness is that we don't have to worry about being hungry or we don't have to worry about clothes on our back because God's goodness takes care of what we need. God's goodness is there when we feel it sad, his goodness is right there. God's goodness is the tool that we need when our enemies comes 
up, 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 up against us. God goodness make our enemies our footstool. But what a wonderful God he is. He's a wonderful God to all of us. Because God created us in his image. What a wonderful God he is. God blesses us day by day. Wonder. <coughs> what a wonderful God he is. But God goodness is almighty. God goodness cleans us up from the inside out. But having God goodness you got it all. Because God is goodness. God is love. And then God, his love is sufficient. What a wonderful God he is. We need a protector. God is right there for us. What a wonderful God he is. When you need someone to talk to, what a wonderful God he is. Because God, he hears our cry day by day. And God loves a good prayer service. It ain't got to be in the daytime. Sometimes he love a good prayer service at midnight. <laughs> Excuse me. But God is greatness. God is goodness. God is everlasting. God is peace. God is joy. God is everything that we need and more. God goodness it's going to stand. And it's going to stand through the test of times. Because if you got God goodness, you got the trace of God. You got the trace. Because God trace is love, peace, understanding. And, and if you got the trace of God, you got it all. You got it all. Because, like, again, God made us in his own image to love our brothers and our sisters, to help someone come to Christ. Because everybody don't know who Jesus is. Everybody don't know the voice of Jesus. So we have to be the voice of Jesus down here on earth to tell people about God. Tell people how God blessed us. Tell people, <coughs> excuse me, how we made it over. But we got to be the voice of God. We got to be, we got to show love like God showed love to us. That agape love. If your brother and sisters is down, don't talk about them. Think about God's goodness and pick them up. Tell them the word about God. Show them how God blessed you to come out of a situation. Show them that you've been down and out. Give your testimony. How God put food on your table. How God just brought you a word from him. How God ministered to your life and made everything all right. That's God's goodness. And then God, he always blesses us. Sometimes he'll bless us with a car to bring people to the church house. That's God's goodness because you're doing something for God. And if you bless God's house, God will bless your house. I done tried him for myself. Because he'll bless my family in many occasions. Because I preach the word and I and, and, and then I teach the word for God. If God can do it for me, what about you? That's God's goodness. He's an everlasting God. See, 
We got to be on water. We got to be on water cord. We got to stand and just stand up for God. We got to be able to scream, holler, what, how good God is. <coughs> because if we don't, if, 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 if we know what God is and what God will do, and if we don't teach God people who are looking for the word of God, then guess what? We ain't doing God business. Take, take time out and show God goodness. Show God love to his people. Show God love by feeding someone. Show God love by clothing someone. Putting shoes, putting, putting shoes on somebody's feet. And watch God take your pantry. Watch God give you something that, that's brand new. Watch God do it for you. Watch God just turn everything around for you. Because that's God's goodness. God's goodness turn all your problems around to make, every, <coughs> to make everything better for you. And the devil don't like God's goodness. Because when you say God's goodness and, and his mercy lasts forever, the devil, he'll flee from you. But we got to be the instrument for God. We got to be the voice for God. How can you love someone? How can you love God, someone you ain't never seen before, but hate your brother out here? That ain't showing God goodness. Because my God, he's a spirit, and he goes to and fro. And he sits up on high, and he looks down low. <clears throat> He looks down low. And you know what? When we're, we're looking down low, he's seeing everything that we're doing. He's seeing everything we're not doing. What a mighty God he is. Cause he's because he's married baby. He's a lily of the valley, and he's the bright among the star. What a mighty God he is. Get to know who God is. Get to know God's goodness. And if you get to know God's goodness for yourself, you'll be able to tell somebody else about God's goodness. Because like the word says, Oh, how great is your goodness. That's powerful. That's real powerful. I say again, just a powerful statement. When I read it, it took shield down my spine. Because I know God's goodness is real good. I know God's goodness has kept me day by day. I know God's goodness put food on the table. He put clothes on, on, on our back, my family's back, and my family's back. So, you ask yourself, oh, how great is your goodness? Ask yourself that. Ask yourself that about God, about God, his grace. Ask yourself that very thing about God's goodness. Because God has done something for you, his goodness lasts forever. All through eternity. If God does something, to if God doesn't anything for you, you can stand up and say, oh, what a, what a wonderful God he is. And then you can, then you can say, what a friend we have in Jesus. Then you can come down and say, oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. That's God's goodness. Sometimes you have to point to yourself and say, because he first loved me. 
He did it all for me. <laughs> Excuse me. For God's goodness. Just tell yourself that in the morning. We look in the mirror and say, thank you for your goodness. In your day, it'll be better than ever. When you go to work, God will change the atmosphere because of his goodness. <clears throat> it's going to be a little rain in your life sometimes. You won't fall sometimes. You're going to have everything you want sometimes. But if you got God's goodness, you got it all. We all got a season from God. We all got a season that we're going to be blessed. But you say, Lord, thank you for your goodness, that your goodness stood. See, they're going to take the Bible from us again, and they're going to burn them. And if you ain't got God in your life, and if you ain't got that agape love, and if you ain't got the word of God, and, you, and, you did, and if you ain't got the goodness of God, oh, Lord, have mercy. You're going to be messed up. Then, and if you ain't got the goodness in the word of God that's predicated in you, you go, then guess what's going to happen? You got to take them three, them 366 six or whatever to eat, drink, and everything else. I'd rather have God than anything else. No matter what happens, no matter what goes, I let nothing. I say that again. <clears throat> I'd rather have Jesus. Get silver and gold. If I got a penny in my pocket, I tell God thank you. Because after a while, God going to bless my finance. I may have a little food in the pantry, but we tell God thank you for the little food that we got. Because some folks ain't got food on the table. <coughs> there we can go to hell. Come and see a preach God's word. Thank you for the little clothes that we got. It may not be what we want, but we but, but we ain't naked. Cause some people don't even have clothes on their back. Some people don't know when their next meal gonna come around. Some people have to drink water that's not clean, but God's still there. But see, God He keeps blessing us day by day. He ble He blesses all over the world. Not just Birmingham, but all over the world. He blessed him. God got the key to the whole wide world. He can, he can twist it, and he can turn the rain off. That's God. That's God goodness. <laughs> tornadoes come, tornadoes go. <coughs> but God still, I protect him. That's God goodness. And then, then behind God goodness, you say, what a, what a wonderful God he is. Cause God is a wonderful God. God is a good God. God is an on time God. Yes, he is. He may not come when we want him, but when he come, oh Lord, he's right on time. That's the kind of God I serve. So, when you read it, just read it and ask yourself again. Oh, how great is your goodness. Then when you read it like that, just go to shower. Tell the God thank you. Tell the God how much you love him. Tell the God how much you adore him. Because God love a praise servant. Yes, he do. Everybody can't say Everybody can't pray. But if you pray from your heart and you say from your heart, you telling God thank you. Some people ain't got hands to wave, but they're still telling God thank you. Because they can meditate. That's God's goodness. Where you can meditate in silence. We all talk in different languages, but, but we're still telling God, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your copy love. <clears throat> Thank you for being our protector. 
And then we want to say thank you for being away out of nowhere. Thank you for being in the middle of a wheel. And then most of all, church, most of all, we want to tell God thank you for sharing his blood for us on Calvary. Because it could have came down. I will say that again. He could have came down and saved himself. But God, but God goodness would let him come down. He didn't have to die on the cross. But God loved us so much that he died for my sins and everybody's sins on the cross. He took our sins on the cross what we made love again. What a wonderful God he is. Let's don't, let's every day you wake up, every day, whatever, always think about God's goodness. Then tell him thank you. Then you want to say, what a wonderful God he is. Before you go inside your buildings, or wherever you work at, or however you want to do it, say, what a wonderful God. He is. And he'll, and he'll change the atmosphere for you, y'all. He'll change. But, but number one, <coughs> excuse me, let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus guide you. Let Jesus guide your footsteps. Let Jesus be your your guide for you. When you feeling ain't when you no know, <coughs> excuse me, they ain't got no power, not at all. For you ain't feeling good. Let God be your what healer, God goodness. I just want to say thank you to our listeners, our our, uh, our viewers. Thank you for our supporters that, that that we have. Thank you for just just just, just allowing us to come on uh, on the airway of of YouTube of, of and everything because you don't know how how much that touches me. When I can come, come and teach and preach the God word to His people on YouTube, and, 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 and I want to give a big shout out to my assistant pastor, who's the best assistant pastor that ever money could buy would have nobody but him, cause he because, because he makes sure his pastor is wherever I gotta go. God blesses him to be able to take me. And I want to tell him thank you. Uh, and then the, 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 the first lady, I want, I want to tell, her, tell him thank you for her because she she she's there. She makes sure pal, her pastor is looking very well put. I want to say thank you to our church people and to and to everybody that that know. I don't know. I want to give a shout out to, to the people that are behind the scheme, to the uh, I, I know behind everything. And, uh, and uh, there are certain pastors that I'll call their name. I want to thank my pastor friends who who checks up on me, and you know, so we check up on them. So I just want to say thank you very much for that, also. And and, uh, and and may God always bless everybody in the whole wide world house. And and at the bottom, the, the, the red button called what? Subscribe. If you want to, just hit it. <clears throat> and then, if you want to leave a comment, that's fine. And then, and, 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 and I just want to say, on, uh, on this week, it'll be Father's Day. Thank God for the fathers. Amen.